time is it anyway? It's like 6 a.m. 6, no, it's 6.30. 6.30, I think. Don't talk to me till I've had my coffee. Yeah, that's my line. <laughs> Morning is actually really nice. It's uh, it was 46 degrees when we started, but it's gonna definitely warm up. We're all set up, and I'm not sure where our Raya went. Oh, there he is. Oh man. Oh wow, look at that. Doing that tree right there. The I'm doing like that right there. Yeah, and there's nice light on that rock right there. Mm -hmm. nice I like how you put those rocks in the foreground like that yeah I was hoping they would like be a nice entry I wasn't as happy yesterday with the mountains but today yeah they look um, really they look really good yeah I'll get close up on those yeah lots of nice color in there warms and cools yeah which is is key you're just like digging the vibe I noticed like when I was last over here the light was totally different huh mm -hmm. I'm trying yeah. to just paint the highlights as they were when we just got here. Like you can see in the shadow of that rock, look how light that got. Mm -hmm. That's crazy, yeah. But you got that going on in that rock too. Cool, man. And you're enjoying yourself. Me too. <laughs> well, it was 46 degrees when we showed up out here. I don't know, it's probably in the 80s right now. And I didn't bring a water bottle out here with me. The car is about maybe a quarter mile from here, but I'm starting to feel it now. I think this is where I'm gonna call it quits. Uh, I was just trying to get some good color in the shadows of the branches and also just try to get the shape of the tree sort of accurate. Also push the mountains back. Um, the foreground, I didn't have a lot of time to work on that. But again, my main focus was to just try to capture these trees, the feel of the trees. So I'm pretty happy with those. There he is. This plant is different from this, but it, it's no less spiny. It looks like every plant out here is designed to like stick into you. <laughs> Attack you pretty much. We kind of just painted in one area. And so now I'm gonna look around and see what else the park has to offer. Where does the trail go? Is this it? The light on these rocks is amazing. Okay, we've got a really rich blue sky. And then notice how this rock that's facing the sky is reflecting that blue. Uh, whereas this rock behind is um, getting reflected light that's bounced off of the ground. So it's kind of an orange or yellow color. Look at all that yellow reflected light under there. All right, so apparently this is the most popular hike in the park, and I'm the only one here, which is great. All right, we've got a nice shady spot here, so we'll take a moment to talk about landscape painting, pros and cons. All right, so the pros of getting outdoors and painting the landscape are number one, it's just a really nice activity, nice way to spend some time in nature. Uh, number two, you're observing nature in a way that you just can't possibly from a photograph. In fact, I'm no longer inspired to paint landscapes from photos or digital images. 
Um, but the challenge is that landscapes have been done so much that it's hard to come up with something that's original. And therein lies one of the biggest challenges. And I'm never satisfied with paintings that are just okay. I want something that's exceptional. All right, so this Hidden Valley Trail is like a one mile loop, but um, it's a lot of scenery packed into one mile. Uh, one interesting thing about this trail is it actually seems almost manicured. I mean, there are some stones that have been moved around for like stairs or to guide you on the trail, but I mean, just sort of the plant life and the rock formations, it's like a natural garden. It's pretty amazing. All right, so some quick conclusions from today's adventure. Uh, if you're a painter and you come to Joshua Tree, you might want to paint some rocks. Uh, the trees are difficult to paint. I mean, I'd say give it a go, but the rocks are just spectacular. Um, and the other thing is get to the park really early if you can, and on a weekday, preferably. Uh, the weekend was super crowded, but weekdays, there's nobody around. Um, yeah, and get out early when the light is good, the shadows are nice and it's not too hot. Okay, so I can't tell you how many times I've driven by interesting subject matter and not stopped. Today I'm stopping. Okay, that is where I'm staying. Nice landscaping. All right, this is my favorite time of day in here. It's about four o'clock and I just have the screen, uh, the screen door so there's a nice breeze through here. All right, since I used Liquin, these paintings are both dry. Uh, let's see, here's the first one, here's the second. Let's take a look at the first one. So the main thing I wanted to do in this one was I wanted to make sure that this mountain was pushed back so I got good separation from, you know, mountains to trees. I didn't spend a lot of time on the ground there just because I ran out of light. All right, and here is today's painting. Again, I was just focusing mostly on just doing like tree portraits in a way and also trying to apply thick paint. Here's the bedroom, nice comfortable bed. Got my books over there. And out here is a little balcony. Well, unfortunately, the time has come. I'm going to be leaving here tomorrow morning, but I've had a great time. Whenever I come on these like painting, vlogging trips, I kind of go all out for three or four days or five days. And, uh, and then it's time to go home and recharge. Um, but I've had a great time. It's been nice coming down here. It feels like summer, whereas up in the Bay Area, it's starting to get cold. I mean, it does get cold here at night or cool, I would say. I think around here, probably 60 degrees. Up in the park, more like 40, like 48 degrees at night. Um, but still really warm during the day. So it's it just feels like summer to me. Um, anyway, it's been a great time. And I really want to thank Julia for offering me her place. Uh, it is a vacation rental and all the information is in the description below in case you're interested in staying here. The brochure is said to take a lot of selfies, so here goes. Ooh, those are horrible. <laughs> <laughs>